I'm Sarah Dusso from sarahfit.com and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite recipes. This is a turkey meatloaf inspired by Jamie Eason who is a professional bodybuilder. Um, she actually does fitness competitions. So basically this is kind of a low carb turkey meatloaf and I love to make this in advance on Sundays when I know that I have a busy week coming up and I want to have clean meals ready for me when I'm short on time and starving when I just come home. So what you're going to need is about a pound of ground turkey. Now this is actually a little bit more, but I'm just gonna add some extra vegetables to kind of even it out so that we have a good six serving portion. So first you're going to preheat your oven on 350 degrees. Now I like to buy vegetables that are already cut up. It saves you a lot of time. So this here I bought at Trader Joe's. It's a combination of chopped celery, carrots, and onion. Now if you want to chop them up on your own, you can just get two big carrots three celery stalks and half of a white onion. After you've chopped up your vegetables or put them into your bowl, we're actually going to now add some of the spices. I'm just gonna put my hair up so I don't get any gross meat in my hair. All right, so for spices, we are first going to start out with a little bit of salt. Now you can use a eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just gonna do a few shakes. That's good. Next, we're gonna add some garlic powder. I absolutely love garlic powder, and we are going to add a whole tablespoon of garlic powder. There we go. You don't wanna be stingy with this spice. You never have too much garlic powder, in my opinion. Your uh, significant other might disagree. Next, we are going to add a teaspoon of black powder. There we go. Next, we're gonna do a teaspoon of chili powder. This is my own little addition. I really like chili powder. It adds a lot of spice to my dishes. And I'm just gonna do about three quarters since some of it didn't happen to get in there. It's good. Next, we're gonna do a teaspoon of dry mustard. Now, if you don't have all these spices, a lot of times you can go to a place like um, the Christmas tree shop and they'll have spices for super cheap. Now, if you don't have a Christmas tree shop, if you don't live in New England, um, a lot of times you can go to like a Marshall's or a, um, a TJ Maxx. I know that sounds weird, but a lot of times they do have kind of cool, funky foods. But also, the grocery store, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's have pretty affordable spices and they don't go bad, so you'll have them for a while. Trust me, you won't regret buying them. Next, we're going to add some thyme. We're only gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. You know, I don't really like to do measurements too often. This is one of the rare times that I actually do when I'm adding spices, because sometimes if one, there's too much overpowering, it tastes kind of funky. All right, so next we are going to add in our oats. Now you can use rolled oats. I'm all out of rolled oats today, so I'm gonna show you how to use just a packet of oatmeal. Here I have Coach's Oats. It's quick cooking, steel cut oatmeal, uh, and it's gonna work out to be great. Um, so I'm just gonna add in this packet. If you're using rolled oats, then go ahead and use a half of a cup. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of egg whites. You can go ahead and use two to three egg whites from whole eggs if you don't have a carton like this. There you go, I'm just gonna add it. Now, we have all of our spices here in the bowl, and I'm gonna stir them up so that they're kinda evenly distributed, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my turkey breast. So the oven is on 350 right now, so once we are all set, we should be good to go. So here I am just mixing up the spices with the egg white. Now this is a little bit more than a cup and a half of chopped vegetables. If you wanna add more, go for it. If you wanna add less, that's fine too. Again, this is kind of like a lean uh, turkey meatloaf. So make it your own. It's not gonna turn out bad unless you have way too much salt or something. So that's why I always use a little bit of salt. So we're next we're gonna add in this turkey. I don't like to touch raw turkey, it's gross. I'm just gonna scoop it on in there. Now, if you're a vegan, I'm sorry to say there is no alternative for this recipe. Uh, this, is a, this is a meat dish. If you're gluten-free, obviously, go ahead and use gluten-free oats, and then you should be fine. And I'm gonna have to touch it. Blech. Everything's gonna get washed today. 
So we're just gonna mix this up. All right, so we've got our meat mixture, and now I'm just gonna take kind of a big ice cream scoop. I'm just gonna put it into my large cupcakes. I use this large cupcake pan for protein muffins as well. You know, like the breakfast pancake, I make them into muffins. I'm very glad that I have it because I definitely use it more than I ever thought I would. Very rarely does it get used for cupcakes though. I hope it doesn't take up personally. So here we have our muffins. I'm just gonna pat them out so that, make sure that they're pretty much the same size. Now to get the nutrition information, I'm gonna have a link on my blog, sarahfit.com. Um, it's also down below in the more info. But if you guys are making recipes at home, if you go over, there's websites that you can find out how much your recipes are. I use my fitness pal super helpful. You can also use um, Spark Recipes. I also use that for my website. So we've got our muffins. We're gonna put these in the oven for 35 minutes and when they're done, we're gonna enjoy them. Now, once they're done, if you want, you can add a little bit of a ketchup glaze. What I like to do is combine a little bit of ketchup and Worcestershire sauce and a little bit more of chili powder. Glaze that on the top, pop them back in the oven for about five minutes and you're good to go. Or you can just use it as a dipping sauce. So I just took them out of the oven after 35 minutes. I thought this was a nonstick pan, apparently it's not, but this is what it comes out to look like. Now I had a bite and they're pretty spicy. So if you don't like spice, omit the chili powder or just use about a quarter of it. I like my food spicy. Uh, it actually elevates your metabolism. So, but anyway, here it is, 35 minutes in the oven, delicious. You can put them in the freezer or in the fridge and they will keep for about a week in the fridge uh, longer if you freeze them. But uh, let me know what you thought down below and to get the recipe, go to my blog, sarahfit.com. Link is down below in the more info. Also subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.